Hi guys, welcome to the Monday Motivation Podcast. How are you doing? Times are tough, right? This week, new restrictions were announced. Are you sick of these masks? Sick of being stuck, working and schooling at home? Sick of the isolation? Well, come here. Let me show you something. This tree is starting to fall. It will feel like you're losing everything. Remember that these trees lose their leaves every year and still they stand tall and wait for better days to come. This week, try and stand tall. Better days are coming for us all. Cheers. Welcome to Be My Guest with me, Mary Honan, on Lear Media TV, supporting the Samaritans, Limerick and Tipperary, Clare's Wish Foundation in Limerick and Deal Animal Rescue in West Limerick. And oh my God, am I so lucky today to have a superstar on the show, and that's Podrick O'Callaghan, otherwise known as Poddy. Hello, Padre. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What must it, what does it feel like to be a superstar? I think very happy and I'm, I'm very excited. Are you very excited? Tell me, Padre, uh, how did you start off doing your podcasts? Well, I started when I was um, in lockdown. I started doing them to keep people happy and positive. To um, keep people happy. Yeah. And they've gone viral. Yeah, like the, the COVID is silly. But I'm sure I'll get there somehow. You should, do you like being in COVID because you're seeing your mummy and daddy so much? Or yeah. do you like being in COVID? Yeah, but it's hard. Like, we, we can't do it. And we're stuck indoors. We can't go out. Well, we can, but don't go too far. But why can go far? We, we want to go somewhere. And you and you do lo- you you do lots of work around the house, don't you, Paddy? Yeah, I do. And uh, you must saw my last podcast. I, I was um in a, a, is a purple room as we call it. Um, I said the attics and the you know, windows and everything. But what's your favourite job to do, Paddy? I say that. Tidy natics. <laughs> tidy natics. Yeah. Oh my God! You can come up to. Can you come up to my attic and tidy it? Yeah, my will. It's it, it's a mess. I don't know where to start. What's your best advice, body? And see, attic. See, puzzles. Get plenty of exercise. Don't be tough until tomorrow. What you can do today, and um, be kind to people. Live in the present. Support those that need support. Well, what's your uh, what advice would you give me now if I was trying to tidy out my attic? Well, well, I'll say um, the advice would be that um, don't be scared of anything. Just be really um, brave. Go up there and just be really brave and try to think of someone that you know. Are you very good at, around with your daddy's job? Because Brian, you you you're very involved with um, uh, in the eco uh, business yeah, yourself. That's eco right, Mary. We've, we've a business ecostraws.ie. A, a quick a quick plug. We uh, we offer the largest range of alternatives to single use plastic straws anywhere in the world, um, no. as well as coffee cups and water bottles and that kind of thing. And and you're quite right in what you said. Pod is a tremendous help to uh, to us. He um, <laughs> he uh, he loves packing the orders. We have, I suppose, we have a couple of different target markets. One of which would be the online market. Um, so when the orders come in, he loves to uh, he loves to help out and starts uh, packing the orders and make sure they go out on time. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a great he's a great help. And I suppose, Mary, this is how this podcast started last year. Yeah, I was. Um, that was my next question. How did he get into this? Uh, you're you're starting him off young at work. 
I know, isn't it terrible? My God, I'll have uh, I'll, I'll have I'll have the, the, the health and safety crowds onto me. Um, no, it started last year. Quite honestly, some of our products would be aimed at those. First of all, with delicate mouths, for example, uh, yes. soft straws and coffee cups and things like that. Um, so we started doing a couple of videos this time last year, actually. Um, and they were a bit salesy. They were kind of product reviews and things like that. But the response was really, really positive. Um, and I, I kind of started that as a way, I suppose, of spending time with him, number one, keeping him entertained, keeping him out of trouble during the, the very first lockdown, how naive we are when we thought that it would only last a couple of weeks, but how's ever? Um, Terminable. Yeah, and, and really the response was so good that I wanted to continue to do something, but the flip side of that, I wanted to move away, I guess, from the salesy type videos for fear that yeah. we would face some kind of criticism. Um, so we came up with this idea. I, I would do a lot of work and Podrick would be involved as well with Down Syndrome Limerick, for example, and Special Olympics Ireland. And their positive mental attitude mantra would be very, very, um, you know, significant and very, very powerful and very important to them. So we came up then with, um, with this idea, first of all, for this Monday Motivation Podcast. And we had maybe five or six ideas. So I, I envisaged that it would last maybe five or six weeks. Yeah. And we're now, sure, look, we're six months in now. We're now on video number 25, I think, at the minute. Um, the response has really, and I know it's an old cliche, but the response has been absolutely amazing from around the world, you know. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've had interest and, and comments and Padre loves reading the Facebook comments. You know, that's, he, he's, I think he's his dad's son, all right. He loves the, he loves a bit of praise. Um, but we have, we've had comments from, from as far away as Australia, New Zealand, right across to Canada, America. It's, you know, you could be on, you could be on Oprah someday, Paddy, or, yeah, or could be. but none of them will be as important as this show. Sure, they won't, Paddy. No, they won't. I'm the one who's important, not 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 anyone else. Oh God! Yes, you're the important person, aren't you? Yeah. Hi guys. Your own Welcome to the Monday Motivation Podcast. Today I am out for my walk, and I would advise you to exercise during lockdown too. My granddad, Pat Callahan, used to run for errands last week. He gave me some advice and I am going to pass it to you today. He said, when exercising, a little, a lot, is better than a lot, a little. So get out there and do some exercise all within your 5k of course. It's great for the body, the mind and the soul. Maybe I will run for Ireland someday too. <laughs> Paddy's your only child, am I right? That's right, yes. Mary. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm an only child as well, Paddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have brothers or sisters, so I had my mummy and daddy all to myself. Spider dropping so as well. <laughs> so. <laughs> So do you do you not want to go back to school now, Paddy? Well, I actually am at school just now. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not at school and I'm working very hard to do stuff. For example, maths and English and Irish, all that stuff. And it's really good. Do you like Irish in school, or do you like or what yeah. subject is your well, favorite? Well, I like Irish, but I prefer maths and history. Really? Yeah. What do you like about hit? Well, maths now is my least favorite subject. I hate maths, but I loved history. So tell me, what do you love about maths? I, I love the division and oh, um, no. doing um, multiplication. Multiplication. Oh. And um, that can obviously all the things I hated. <laughs> Really? All the things now I'm glazing over at the thoughts Not of the, moves. the terror that it, it inflicts in me, the thoughts of maths. Oh, I think we're and, all the same. Um, you the same? Yeah, I think I think we're all the same. I think of our generation, it, uh, it scares the life out of us, I think. 
that you know i mean i could never work them out i could never understand why a plus a equals x or whatever How, why <laughs> that doesn't make any sense <laughs> uh, the, the, the youth this next generation they can certainly entertain or not entertain us but educate us that's for sure but Paddy, i saw you working working cleaning places and and doing all sorts of work around the house Hmm. What do you find the hardest about, what did you find hardest when you were locked down in COVID, when you couldn't go places? Well, hmm. the hard thing was get out and about really, but the other thing is, um, the thing is, during the COVID-19, like, I know people are saying, I want to do this, I want to do that, but stick um, to the COVID rules, see what they say, and maybe, for example, if it's sitting like it's a sitting like that. Um, You're but, a much better person than me, Paddy. You're I a know. much better person at doing what you're told than I am. I haven't been past five kilometres, but I just don't like being locked up. Yeah, nor do I. Um, but I'm stuck. I got an Xbox, so you may actually have a tablet, but that you got an Xbox, me. yeah. But I, I prefer the podcast more than the Xbox. You prefer the podcast more than the Xbox, yeah. What do you like about your Monday, um, Monday inspirational, um, uh, talks on, on podcast? It's a great <laughs> name, by the way, only when you look look at it in retrospect you think why didn't somebody else party <laughs> think of doing a podcast and it's funny you know that wasn't even our idea somebody recommended that we were, we were maybe five or six weeks in and somebody came up with that name and i said geez that's that's brilliant yeah let's uh let's go with that in the future but uh it's stuck now anyway it's stuck now what where, um, what what's your favorite thing why do you like it so much party do you like tell helping people yeah Help people and to learn to speak clearly and slowly, and um, and the podcast is a sixty-second clip, and it's out every Monday. So I say you need to check out. He's a great old salesman there. Second <laughs> <laughs> clip and it's out every Monday. Don't miss, don't miss po his podcast. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. No, That's no sure. way. <laughs> There must be never a dull moment, Brian, with, with Paddy in the house. Oh, listen, and again, uh, Mary, it's an old cliche, and I know everybody will think their own are just spectacular, but I, I just think there's something very, very special about this young lad. Um, I'm obviously immensely proud. Um, and immensely biased, but immensely right. Exactly. Well, when You're I'm right correct. or wrong, I, I think I'm right anyway. <laughs> Others might have a different opinion, but certainly I think um, he's second to none. You know, he's... He's, he has an amazing, I suppose, effervescent personality and it, it just exudes positivity and motivation and inspiration. Um, you, you can't help fall in love with him, I feel. When he walks into a room, he just lights up the whole room. Um, you know, he just seems to cast a spell over people. Whatever it is, I don't know. He has that touch of, ma touch of, of magic or magic dust or whatever. Um, and he certainly casts that spell whenever he walks into a room and people just respond to that. You know, it's, it's amazing. I don't know. I don't have the answer. I don't know why. Um, but it's, it's, there's have you ever thought of getting Paddy into um, uh, drama and that because he's very outgoing, very articulate and um, no fears? Yeah, it's, and it's funny. And, you know, you'll you laugh at this. We, we kind of started way back as well to help with his communication skills and his confidence skills. Now you look at him and you say he has no issue whatsoever with, uh, with confidence, but just some kids of his ilk, I suppose, need a bit of help honing in on those couple of skills. Um, and he's certainly reaping the, re the rewards now, you know, as I say, we're six months into it and you can see a huge difference. Actually, if you ever go back and look at the first two or, two or three videos compared to the latter ones, you can see a huge difference. Um, to answer your question about, about drama, not really, quite honestly. No mm -hmm. reason why we haven't. I have nothing against it or anything like that. I, I suppose it just hasn't presented itself or we haven't really gone down that road. 
Mm. Um, certainly, it's a possibility for the future. You know, he's uh, he's certainly as outgoing, I guess, as they come for a ten year old. So you never know. But uh, what I think about the podcasts are that what you said there earlier, Paddy, was one hundred percent right. You you speak so slowly, and that's wonderful because. Sometimes when we're Irish, um, people don't always understand us yeah. uh, because the Irish tend to speak very fast. Yeah. I speak very slowly because my mother was deaf. She 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 had a hearing hearing problems and mm. she and she went very deaf um, before she died. But I think it's important to speak slowly, and you you do that very well, Paddy. Yes, I do. And that's another thing that I got to learn is to um to stay um out, out of trouble. <laughs> keep to keep out of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say now you never got into trouble, did you? No, I haven't. No, no, no. But I, I have to um keep busy and be able to um, exercise. Yeah. Exercise. It's very good for the exercise. I'm. I'm just thinking. Your your parents are really a slave driving you, having ha, cleaning the garden, cutting the grass, yeah. uh, cleaning the attic. Is there anything they haven't got you to do? I'll say clean the roof. Clean the roof. <laughs> and, and, and clean the chimney. Clean the chimney. <laughs> clean the chimney. Give them time. They'll have you go <laughs> down that chimney. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so what what do you hope long term with the um, with the podcasts? Because it's you know I mean there's no end to possibilities for for developing those podcasts. Yeah, it's it's a funny one, Mary, because as, as I said initially, it was a, a five or six week plan, and we had five or six ideas. Never in our wildest dreams did we think we'd even get this far, um, both time-wise and with the amount of support, as, as I said, from, from around the world. Um, it wasn't our intention, quite honestly. It was just a bit, of, it started as a hobby more than anything else. Um, but now, as I say, we are where we are and we're six months in and he's still enjoying it. That, that's the important thing for me. The day it becomes a chore or a job, you know, that's the day we'll pull the pin. Right now, he's absolutely loving it. I mentioned there he loves the, the praise, love, loves reading the comments. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for right? sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he, he really does, and, and again, without, without repeating myself or running the risk of repeating myself, he really does enjoy doing them. He enjoys, um, you know, he, he said it there himself, he enjoys making people happy and keeping people positive, particularly during this, uh, these tough times. So... Where will it go? I, I don't know, Mary, quite honestly. Look, we, we, we'd said we'll do it for five or six weeks. Then we said, right, we'll do it until he went back to school, which was a couple of weeks ago. He has a birthday coming up to the end of the month. We said, right, we'll go to the end of April. Then it's, will we go until the start of summer? Will we go until we're out of lockdown? We, we keep hitting these kind of um, milestones, I guess, and uh, we, we keep passing them by and uh, we're, we're still going. So who knows where it'll go? We, I, I really don't know. There's absolutely no pressure on this man. It'll be... Whatever. What school does pa do, do you go to, Paddy? I go to Nokini National School in Nokini. Oh, you're out in Nokini? I don't yeah. know why I thought you were here in the city. I don't know. No, we're, we're in Nokini. Um, I like it in Nokini. Yes, we have one. School have been out in the country. You're oh, out in the country. Me. And some um, teachers have been uh, really ap appreciated. They're really um, helpful to me, to everyone, of course. But, but they're really good at helping people. The teachers are very good at helping people. Yeah. Do you like your teachers? Yeah, I love them. Love them. <laughs> have you a favourite teacher? Well, I've seen, oh. I've seen Miss Donworth. Miss, Miss who? Donworth. Miss Donworth. Donworth. Yeah. Why is she your favourite now? Does she let you off with your homework? You don't have to do any homework well, with her. I do a, I do a good homework, but um, she is really good. Um, she's saying, like, um, making more PE, um, more time to clean the yard, more to, more to eat lunch, really. 
So you get he's a dot he's a, he's a doddle to have as a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> and tell me we can't leave this out. Look at this beautiful suit. Tell me what that suit was for. Because you look like a model in it. Yeah. Um, well, for my communion, as I said earlier on, um, and I got for my birthday, I think it was, and I um, I obviously knew it as in my communion, but I actually, I often remembered to get it. Did you not make? Did, did was he one of the the students that didn't make communion? Um, no, no, no. He made it. That was what was that two years ago? No, two years ago. Three. What class? You're in four class in now. That's class, second yeah. class. Two years ago, that would have been there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I think last year some of them didn't make it. I think that it moved on to this year. Yeah. Yeah. But it's lovely. a lovely suit. Thank you. You look like a model. Yeah. <laughs> shy as well as you can see. I'm not, I'm Very shy. Come on, man. <laughs> what? So come on, man. I'm not. I'm never shy. No. You're never shy. That's for sure. <laughs> is there ever a dull moment, Brian, with him inside the uh, house? Th th there really isn't. It's um, it's it's a hundred miles an hour, seven days a week, three, six, five days a year. It's um, it's, it's but I wouldn't have it any other way. No. Um. I mean, he's involved in so much, even outside the podcast. Look, at, on a serious note, we do try and get him out and about. He goes swimming, a fantastic swimming coach, um, goes horse riding, plays soccer, involved with Special Olympics there in, in Catherine McCauley in Limerick. Wow. Um, you know, he, he really does. He's, he's a very active young lad. And uh, of course, look at it. It's good you think it's him. important to keep him active? I do, yeah. Look at. Or do you I, think I, it is for all children to be active? Exactly. Yeah, I was just going to say. I mean, we all have a tendency to get lazy, particularly during the lockdown. Look, at, we're all carrying a small bit of lockdown beef. Um, but it's very easy to sit down and put a child in front of an Xbox or television and let that entertain him for the night. And we try our best to to move away from that and try and limit that just by opening up a few doors. And it's funny, you know. We, 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 I suppose, try and expose him to as much as possible in the hope that he will enjoy some things. There's some things he won't enjoy. You know, that's the same with all kids. But also he's offered and given us so much back as well and offered or opened so many doors for us um, as parents. And, and I think off the top of my head, I mentioned earlier, you know, the Special Olympics, for example, and I do a bit of volunteering. I don't know if I would ever have gotten involved with that if I... If, didn't come along. Isn't it amazing how life throws you curveballs and then you realise, I was only saying it to a friend the other day uh, that who I was interviewing, and it's not until you actually are thrown that curveball that you realise that is where your life was meant to be and where you are actually ha happy. Yeah, and, and it's you funny, know. and and I said similarly to that, I said to somebody last week, and again, not trying to blow smoke anywhere, but I firmly believe, and, and you know, we, we went through a long process to bring Pod into the world. And I firmly believe from a spiritual aspect that he was put on this planet for a reason. Yeah. Now, what that reason is, I don't know. He's already offered so much in, in the, the very short 10 year period he's here. Um, he's had the early, very early doors. He had to overcome operations, a few other bits and pieces of complications at birth, but he's come through all that. Um, and I think that's where the positivity comes from. I, 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 I wouldn't be naturally spiritual, Mary, but I do believe that um, there's something behind that. And there's a reason. I, again, as I say, I don't know what that reason is yet. We, there's a long journey there to go yet. Please, God, touch wood. Um, but yeah, there's, there's something very special. And uh, You waited a long time for a party. Yeah, we had to go and, through it. And you, got, and you got an absolute angel and a star, a superstar. Yeah, I, I think so. And and it's look worth at the wait. He absolutely was. I mean, he was a result very quickly of, of seven IVF attempts, for example. We went through four or five four miscarriages and, and all that kind of crack, which happened pre pod. Um so then and it's funny when we got the diagnosis of Down syndrome, it was so irrelevant at the time. You know, he was born early, born at 31 weeks. Um we would have got the diagnosis maybe two weeks prior to that, but it, it really was so irrelevant. We just wanted to, you know, bring him into the world safely, quite honestly. Born he was your baby. Than, yeah, yeah. Born at less than three pounds, immediately rushed to Dublin for an operation. He had a blockage in his bowel, 
operation in Crumlin at three days old, back down to Cork University Hospital for another seven weeks. And at the time you're living in a bubble, you don't realize how serious things are, but it was life or death like. Um, so, you know, and, and that's why the, the spiritual side comes out to me when I say that he's here for a reason. Oh, he absolutely he, is. He, he has overcome so much and now offers so much as well that, um, you know, it's, you could get bogged down in these things, but I definitely think there's, there's a lot to come. <laughs> but be. he's giving so much, he's giving so much to so many because we tend, in this lockdown, we're all tending to become very self-absorbed. And I mean, as only children, Podrick luckily isn't like me. I mean, we can become self-absorbed. And, and, and then when you're, you know, I mean, I would be used to my own company. Podrick would be used to being just around you and, and your wife. Whereas um, uh, when you're forced into lockdown, you, bec you become um, defiant almost and say to yourself, well, you know, I know I'm able to cope with being on my own, yeah. but why should I have to? And I hate being told I have to. Podrick has, through his little podcasts, have or podcasts have shown the world the importance of living for the moment and making the best of a very bad deal at the moment. Yeah, and I think so, Mary. Like, I suppose when lockdown hit us, there was two ways we could have responded. It, it, we could have let it beat us or we can challenge it and try our best to beat it. Um, unfortunately, some have succumbed to, to one version, but, but look, it was always our intention to try and remain positive and upbeat as possible and maybe pass that on. And if one person, just one single person draws some bit of inspiration or positivity or hope, I guess is another, another uh, word that I would use um, from Padre's positivity, then look at it, it can only be a good thing. And how has it affected you, by the way, your business, uh, COVID? It's, do you know something, we've been looking enough, Mary, I, I suppose we have a couple of different target markets, one of which would be restaurants and pubs and things that has gone through the floor, quite honestly, um, with the with the hospitality trade closed. Um, the flip side of that is we the online side of things. During COVID, people have been shopping online, so thankfully that has um, yeah you know, that has proven very successful. And then we've moved into a couple of other different areas like retail and corporate gifts and things. So I can't complain, quite honestly. I know people have had it tough. I know there's many, many businesses, particularly hospitality. Um, and retail that are struggling um, and I can only feel for them um, but speaking I suppose on behalf of our business it has been relatively good and successful for us to be honest with you. Because uh, you were able to adapt, you were able yeah. to bring and and, and you know I mean Paddy's Pardee, uh, little vignettes have really um, struck so much of a chord that they've drawn I suppose some attention as well, positive attention towards the business. Yeah, as well, you know, it, it was a genius idea to actually get the party on board to oh, to 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 keep to keep get the company name out there, you know, and, and at the same time to to reverse it and make, and, you know, sometimes when you're advertising or you're you're doing promotion, it's all about the company, whereas with you and, and party, what it is, it's as much about everyone else as well as highlighting the importance of using eco straws do you know so that yeah. so everyone is benefiting in some uh, way by the practice I think we, we were very conscious of that mary i mean number one i would stress i suppose that that's probably not the reason we started that i mean yes the very first videos we did were promotional as i said but we tended to move away from that um so it wasn't really to, to promote the business now that said it has certainly helped there's no two ways about it but we would be very much, um, we, we never wanted to come across as a faceless business. You know, yeah. it's, it's a very small operation, guaranteed Irish business. Myself, Podrick, and my business partner, Sarah, like it's only the three of us. Uh, we don't pretend we are what we're not. But the flip side of that is we can guarantee, you know, top quality service, you know, same day dispatch, next day delivery, all that kind of stuff. Because we are paying that attention, even the you know, the little notes that Padre puts in a, a few of the orders, um, just little personalized touches that, that do make a difference in a kind of a, a faceless world sometimes, you know. Yeah. Business. 
it makes the whole thing more human. It brings the humanity into into something that can be very clinical, really about uh, hard faced about making money and and um, producing products. But Paddy and you come up with a concept of just um, bringing it down to to its very humanity. I mean, there's a child in I think. If I'm not right, wrong, she's in America and she's Down's child as well. And her mother helped her to say she was mad for cooking. She yeah. loved baking um, buns and things like this. And they opened up a bakery and everybody yeah. in the bakery, every one of the, the, the servers and the people yeah. welcoming the guests all um, are Down's uh, children and adults. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It's a yeah. wonderful concept. It's brilliant. And, and funny enough, there's there's actually a few very a few businesses in Ireland, believe it or not, who are run by kids and adults by or with Down syndrome. I, I think immediately there's there's a company in Ennis, um, Katie's Coffee or Katie Twenty One. That's right, Katie's Cakes or Katie something. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's a company in Dublin, I think, that do socks, and then there's a company in I think it's a Sligo or Mayo. I've heard about the socks. Yeah. Um, and then there's, as I say, a company in Mayo or Sligo, up the northwest anyway, that do or have just come out with a, a doll, a, a doll that has Down syndrome, and they're producing these dolls. Oh, wonderful! So, so there's some there's some brilliant businesses out there. I often wondered actually if I should get in touch and maybe form a little conglomerate of some sort. Yeah, a, a, uh, a kind of a co-op. Yeah. Yeah, because, because certainly um, not support each other. Yeah, because we have a place right next to my house, actually, where I live, just beside it. You have a centre where um, children with special needs all, ad, and adults work, um, and they go to go to to work there. And it's really not even a hundred yards from my house, okay. and um, and they've they've done some great work. Um, trying to think of who actually runs it, but it's um, uh, is that down there by Bonmore? No, it's... no, it's actually in the Fair Green, just oh, okay. um, right. just just opposite the petrol station. Near, okay. the, near St. Lawrence Cemetery. Yeah. There's there there's a place there. I'm trying to think of it. Um, but they they do some great work, do you know? And um, okay. and and, and, and it's, 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 yeah, it's it's all about and we'd be big promoters as well. It's all about ability, not disability. You know, it's it's thankfully society has changed. Um, and, and kids like Pod and adults, you know, they're they're, they're not viewed the way they were they once were, should I say. Um, which is obviously a good thing, but you know these kids and adults—they're capable of so much if given the opportunity, um, and that's maybe why, in a roundabout way, I, I kind of got Paul involved in the business because you don't know where it's going to lead to for himself. Number one, as a career or as a business, um, and then similarly with the with the podcast, you know. So, but maybe... as well as that, do you know. Oh, come on, everybody. And welcome to the podcast. How's your day going so far? Are you winning or losing? In his new book, I'm Fine, author Endo O'Doherty states that we should always be productive before we even leave the bedroom in the morning. And this attitude will carry through throughout the day. What he does. And it sounds simple. It's to ensure he makes his bed every morning. And I have taken that advice on board. So tomorrow morning, when you jump up, make your bed, and you will be kicking ass before you even wake up fully. Cheers. But as well as that, do you not find that um, a, a, an, an aversion to the term disability? Because we're all we are all disabled in some respect. Yes. We're all we I like I have an absolute uh, uh, inability to actually do maths, and a, an aversion to it. The minute I hear maths or physics or science, no, it's not science. I love the I like science and yeah. biology. But when you hear mathematics and physics, you just think, oh, way over my head, and. You know, and we all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses. Yeah. 
Yes. We, I think we should probably just do away with that phrase altogether because, you know, I mean, Paddy, Paddy can do things that, that none of us could, many people couldn't do, like stand in front of a camera and yes. present a, a podcast for 60 seconds. Well, I couldn't do Every it. I've got to hold my hand up. I couldn't do it for number one. But it's it's funny you mention that because we did one of the podcasts actually concentrated on this very, very topic um, with the punchline, disability should not mean inability. Um, and this pod referred to, and I can't think of his name, but there was a guy in America with Down syndrome. What's his name? Oh, he's an actor. No, not Joe Biden. That was a different one now. Oh, it's the, the guy that spoke at the United Nations. No, this, yeah. this guy was the first guy with Down syndrome to complete an oh. Ironman. Oh, um, yeah. oh, Chris Nikic. Chris Nikic, yeah, well done, Paul, well done. Um, but from America, a, a guy of maybe mid-twenties, he completed an Ironman. And I think, geez, I, I wouldn't run from here to my front gate, never mind, <laughs> never mind something like that. I know. could tell you that. I could do it, I tell you that, for example. Yeah, you could do it. <laughs> well, there's a girl in Dublin who got, um, I think she got four A's and, 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 and several B's in her leaving cert. Yeah. Granted, her parents were both professors. They didn't do the exam for her. She had to exactly. do the exam. Exactly, yeah. And, 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 you know, and, and I, I'm all for that. I mean, helping kids and adults reach their potential. I'm all for it. Um, my only concern would be there's often a fine line between being forced into something and helping them reach that potential. Um, you know, for example, you mentioned drama there a while ago. I mean, I would, I would never force Paul into drama. If, if he took an interest, brilliant. Let's, we'll support him 100% and all the way we can. Um, but I would never, I suppose, force him into doing something that he didn't enjoy or didn't want to do. Um, no, I know because I I I taught um, uh, I put together a play with um, uh, adults in um, in up in the um, what do you call it um, cerebral palsy center. Yes. Yeah. And um, in here in in in, in Limerick and um, and th they were fantastic. They were there were various degrees of uh, of of ability. Yeah. And some were in wheelchairs, some weren't, and they really thoroughly enjoyed it. And there was absolutely no inhibitions whatsoever, no fears. They were just so, so delighted. Yeah, you and I think you've probably hit the nail on the head there when you, when you say no fears or no inhibitions, Mary. That's, you know, that's, that's so important and that's what you want. Um, just go out there and show what you can do and be the best you can be. And wherever it'll bring you, who knows? Um, but as long as you enjoy it, that, that's, and I, I'm a huge believer, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm a huge believer in doing something you enjoy. What's, the, what's that saying? They say that if you, if you do it, something you love, you'll never work a day in never, your life. Exactly, yeah. And that goes, that's across the board, be it sport, be it education, be it work. And whatever. what does he do in the Special Olympics? Sorry? What, running, is it? He does a bit of everything. Um, quite honestly, look at he's he's new into the sports side of things. The Special Olympics. It's a new club actually after being formed, literally months before lockdown last year. Um, but it's inside there in Catherine McCauley, and he does a bit. A great in Catherine McCauley, aren't they? Whatever it is, yeah. What, well, what, what do you do? Well, I do is some bit of bowling or um, throwing bean bags into the hoop or crawl under things and jump over things. Crawl yeah. and, and jump over things. Yeah. It's amazing, really. It truly is. I mean, the time we had the Special Olympics here in Ireland um, and Muhammad Ali. That's right. Yeah, two, um, 2003. Yeah. Do you know? I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I said to myself the next time it would actually come, or that I'd try and get involved in something like that. Well, it, because... it's, it's funny you say that now because Paul was born in 2010. Um, and in the middle of that, the Special Olympics Games were on in Limerick. Uh, I remember the opening ceremony in Tolan Park. Yeah. And we got the diagnosis. And I, and I swore at that point to myself in 2010 that if they ever came back to Limerick again, that I would get involved. And lo and behold, they came back four years later in 2014. So that's how I actually got involved was uh, just the, the fact that they returned to Limerick, I suppose. And it was easy, yeah. I suppose, initially. But once you're bitten by the bug then and you're... Uh, you become immersed in the tradition of it all, as well as the, the sport and the competition. 
you just it's 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 an amazing organization all charities are i mean to be fair look at there's numerous charities out there that do tremendous work but it, it's a sector I think and they're being hit very badly now with covid yeah. because people haven't got the money the um the uh, money to be kind of just giving to a charity because they're barely, they're trying to watch what they have themselves because right, yeah. they don't, they're, they're one, I suppose, one step away from losing their house in many cases because of all of this. Exactly. Um, and, and even coupled with that, Mary, like alongside that, you don't see people out with buckets anymore because they just, they, they simply can't. So it has all moved online and just the nature of the beast means that you're not going to collect as much online as you do physically for send on the street with a bucket, for example, or, you know, some kind of a fundraiser like that. So the, the, the whole sector, the whole charity sector is under pressure. Um, and, and I guess deserve every, every bit of support we can give them from, from here on in, you know. Well, Paddy, what's next for you? Well, I say everything really. Uh, what? I say everything. Everything, the sky is the limit. We've got limits, the people are saying, come on, keep on doing this and just do stuff, really. Do stuff. And what advice would you have for me now to get me through the next stages of COVID? Take your vaccination, if offered it, take it. Get into exercise is one thing anyway. you telling me I'm fat? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> And keep yourself busy. If you need help, ask for it. Stick polish up and keep smiling. And that, oh. I don't think there's a better ending than that. No, I couldn't get a better myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sloan, lad, and thank you both for being my guest today. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, guys. It's Padraig, back again with another Monday Motivation. Mother Teresa once said, we can do no great things, only small things with great love. My advice today is to give a little of yourself to one of the many deserving causes out there. Our chosen charity is Special Olympics Ireland. Help 8,000 of us athletes to get back on the courts, back in the pitches, oh, back in the arenas, oh, and back in the pools. We decide the boundaries in our lives, not society or other people. We have come so far, we can't stop now. Check out can'tstopnow.ie for more details.